Coach, heading into this season, what are you most looking forward to? Yeah, just to have a full season is great. You know, we missed the summer, missed the fall last year quite a bit. Uh, only played five non-conference games and just having a full slate of games, full slate of practice. Uh, I think we've learned a lot about our team uh, so far, but really excited for the future. You know, we returned five of our top six scores. So feel like uh, we've got a lot returning and, and have a really good freshman class as well. So we're excited to see if we can take a step. You know, we finished eighth last year and uh, we're believing, uh, as I'm sure a lot of teams in the OVC, that, that they're going to finish in the top few and uh, hoping to make that happen. Speaking of your team, what do you like most about your group this year? Yeah, I think we're competitive. I think that of uh, this, my fifth year, this is the most competitive group that we've had uh, from top to bottom. Uh, I think we're the most athletic team that we've had from top to bottom here. And each year our leadership has gotten better. And we have three seniors that are just doing it the right way and leading extremely well. Our freshman class coming in is extremely talented, probably the most talented uh, that we've seen here and uh, with the most accolades coming in. And now they're learning from uh, the seniors and learning how to do it the right way. So uh, just that combination of uh, five really good returners, uh, but then also really talented young kids as well. What do you see as the potential biggest challenge for you all this upcoming season? I think last year, one thing that hurt us uh, was just our ability to rebound the basketball when we needed to and, and get stops. Uh, we kind of dug ourselves a hole in the OVC when we started uh, one and four in the league. Um, and so I think, you know, we got, we've got to take a step rebounding wise. The league is, is the best it's ever been. And so even though we feel like we're better, that doesn't mean that you pass anybody uh, above you. So uh, I think probably the biggest challenge is the league is really good. The league is long and athletic. And uh, probably our biggest challenge is can we take a step in the rebounding category? So you talk about rebounding. Is there any other thing that you think your team has to have this year in order to be successful? Yeah, I think we're going to uh, have to shoot the ball better than we did from the three point line. We shot at 30 percent last year, and I, I don't think that was indicative of our, our ability to shoot the ball. We just didn't have a lot of games where we shot it as well. Uh, before the year, I would have told you this is the best group of sh shooting team we've had. And then it just didn't translate to games for whatever reason. I don't know if that was less games or, you know, shorter uh, time in the gym because of COVID. But uh, I think we're going to shoot it better. I think we have more kids that can shoot the three better. Uh, we have more weapons from the, the perimeter uh, than we did last year. And, and certainly um, with Abby, we should have uh, a combination of inside and outside as well. Now, taking a look at the, the whole conference here, what are your general impressions on the OVC for this upcoming season? Yeah, I think all the coaches would tell you, gosh, it's gotten better. You know, when I first got here, my first year, five, four years ago, five years ago, the conference was rated 26 in the RPI. And this last year, we were up to 15, 16 or 17, depending on which one you looked at. So that's a huge jump. There's not many conferences jumping 10 spots uh, in the RPI. Uh, you know, our league won a game in the NCAA tournament with Belmont beating Gonzaga. Martin won two games in the NIT. It was the most successful year as far as postseason in OVC history for women's basketball. And I think you're going to see it take another step uh, because the coaching is really good. The recruiting is really good. And I think our league is going to uh, take another step and be one of the best mid-major conferences in the country.